Okay, let's talk about basic trigonometry. So, um, yeah, I have right down here, it's easy, and it's not that hard, okay? Um, of course, everything looks mysterious when you've never learned uh, the concept. And so here I have a triangle, and we got some uh, stuff here, like this, this, and this. And if you have a scientific calculator, you've probably seen these buttons on uh, your calculator. And if you, um, you know, want to take a quick look at a calculator, if you have one handy, you'll see these um, little functions, we call them. And they have to do with trigonometry. And trigonometry is an awesome uh, mathematics, okay, because it can solve all kinds of cool problems that involve angles and distance and whatnot. I'm going to get into all that in a second. And uh, irrespective of where you're at in math, okay, even if you only know basic math, you'll understand this, okay? You'll understand the essence of basic uh, trigonometry. And um, the whole point of this video is to introduce you to trigonometry and hopefully get you excited enough to like actually want to learn more about it. But before we get into all that, let me go ahead and introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tabit Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher, and over many years I've constructed a ton of online math courses. I like to believe some of the most comprehensive math courses out there, all video-based, full direct instruction, thousands of problems solved uh, with video solutions. So if you want to check out my um, math program, I'm going to leave a link to that in the description of the video. So whether you need to take a full online math course or you need um, help with the current course that you're in, my program can help you. Also, hopefully you're taking good notes. If you're not, you need to, okay? The secret to doing well in mathematics, and this is over many, many years of teaching, is your notes. You gotta like look at your notes and ask yourself, how strong are your notes? You need to take good notes and you need to study from your notes, okay? It's, it's very, very important. So um, I've actually done several YouTube videos uh, on note-taking, the importance of that. You can uh, find those on my channel. But if you, um, you know, have not been taking good notes and you need a good set of notes, which you do, I offer uh, pre-algebra, Algebra 1, Geometry, Algebra 2, Trigonometry notes. I'm going to leave the link to those in the description of this video. Super comprehensive, but again, you, you've got to be able to take uh, good notes yourself. All right, enough said. Let's get into trigonometry, and um, let's take a look at uh, some problems that tr trigonometry helps us solve. So let's say here is the ground, and here is, let's say, a tree. Duh, 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 duh. Here's a tree. Okay. And a tree, obviously, is pretty high. And what if I want to know the height of the tree? Okay. Well, i got a couple of choices, right? I can try to, you know, like maybe climb a ladder, kind of way up here and drop a tape measure down. Yeah, that's not really practical. What if this tree is like, you know, I don't know, 150 feet tall? You know, it's one of those huge trees. Well, there's another choice we can do. If we can walk way out here. Let's walk out, let's say, 300 feet. And let's suppose we had a uh, some sort of instrument that could tell us the angle from 300 feet, and we just kind of like look up, all right, and it tells us this, this angle right here. So from the ground all the way up, okay, we kind of use this like little telescope type of deal. You look inside of it, and it tells us the angle. But let's suppose that angle was, oh, I don't know, let's say 30 degrees, okay? So... From 300 feet away from the base of the tree, we stop, and then we look up and we measure this angle. Well, guess what? That's the, all the information we need to, to, uh, to determine the height of the tree. Okay? So you can see, uh, wow, that's pretty cool. But we need trigonometry. Okay? We need trigonometry uh, to do that. So trigonometry allows us to find the lengths of, uh, of um, triangles, okay, whether it's this, this length, we could also find this length, okay? Uh, if we only have an angle and one length of the triangle, okay? So this is really, really powerful stuff. And, you know, you can, you can think of all kinds of different um, uh, examples, you know, like uh, word problems that trigonometry helps us solve, okay? Now, let's take a look at... Um, a basic triangle problem, and then we'll get into this trigonometry stuff. So here, let's say I have what we call a right triangle, okay? 
And let's say this is 3 and this is 4. And I wanted to know this length right here. Okay. Well, with right triangles, all right, these type of triangles, this right here is a 90 degree angle. I can use this guy, a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. Okay. This is called the Pythagorean theorem. Super, super, super important in mathematics. Okay. And in trigonometry as well. But this uh, theorem or formula, okay, however you want to think of it, will allow us to find the, the lengths of a right triangle. Okay, so if I got two lengths, I can find this length. All right, I could just plug everything in. This would be three squared. This would be our A. This would be our B. Okay, so real quick. So this is what? Uh, let me erase this. This is 9 plus 16 is equal to C squared. Or 25 is equal to c squared. Take the square root of both sides. c is equal to 5. Okay, so the length of this is equal to 5. But here's the deal. Um, sometimes, you know, in in, in practical measure, uh, I'm not going to have the lengths of two sides. Sometimes, just like my little tree problem here. Okay, let's erase all of this. Um, all I'm going to have is my little tree. All right, and I'm going to have maybe one length. Okay, but if I can get an angle, all right, then I could determine, I'd like to be able to determine all this information, all right? Well, this theorem is going to require us to have two pieces of the, of the puzzle to get the third. Trigonometry says, hey, if you just give me an angle and you give me one um, piece of information involving a right triangle, I can get you anything you want. I can get you this angle, I can get you this distance, this distance, etc. So basic trigonometry is uh, revolves around these basic right triangle problems. And of course, uh, trigonometry is a huge uh, topic and it gets into much more sophisticated uh, concepts. But again, this video is about basic trigonometry. So let's get to it real quick here. Now, now that you know why we need trigonometry, why it's important, and let's talk about these functions here. These are the basic functions of trigonometry and we're going to teach them to you now. All right. so. Let's take a look. This is a uh, right triangle, okay? And this right here would be an angle in that right triangle, right? Now, if you don't know this, I'm gonna uh, tell you this now. In a triangle, a right triangle, the longest side is always this side. It's called the hypotenuse, okay? Now, this angle here, if I look way to the other side of it, okay? I'm gonna call this the opposite side, okay? The opposite side, all right? And then this side, Okay, with respect to this angle, I'm going to call the adjacent side. So this length right here, we'll call the adjacent to this angle because it's next to it, right? It's kind of like touching the angle. And then the side that's opposite, we'll call it the opposite. Oh, okay. And then this side right here is the hypotenuse. Okay, let's see how that works. All right, so H, O, and A represent the lengths of this particular right triangle. Now, <clears throat> excuse me. Let's talk about uh, these functions here, sine, cosine, and that's how you say this. This is called the sine, this is called the cosine, this is called the tangent. All right, so now I'm gonna give you a phrase. So, ka toa. Now I know you're really like, what is this guy talking about? Well, it's gonna make sense here in a second. All right, so the sine, the sine of an angle, okay, the sine of this angle is what we call, we think of so. Okay, so you're like, so, all right, O and H, okay, it's going to be the sine is the opposite, the opposite over the hypotenuse, okay, so what's the opposite? Well, here's the O, okay, right here, so whatever this length would be, okay, I take this length and divide it by this length, all right, that's it, okay, now, so the sine of this particular angle is going to be whatever this length is, uh, divided by this length. That's it. Okay. How about cosine? All right. So cosine is the adjacent over the hypotenuse. So that's going to be, let's give ourselves some more room. Let's put cosine over here. Cosine, that's look, that little thing is called theta, is the adjacent over the hypotenuse. And then tangent, here, this is called the tangent, is going to be, you guessed it, 
the opposite over there adjacent. So O over A. And these are just ratios of this right triangle. These are the lengths. Okay, so if you remember, we had that previous triangle. This length was 4, this length was 3, and this length was 5. Okay, so the sign of this triangle here would be what? Okay, well, our O would be 3, right? That's the opposite length, divided by the hypotenuse, which is 5. So the sign of this particular angle is 3 fifths. Okay, the cosine would be 4 fifths, and the tangent would be the opposite over the uh, adjacent, uh, 3 fourths. Okay, so let's take the tangent, all right? The tangent was equal to 3 fourths, right? 3 divided by 4 the opposite over the adjacent. So how is this going to help us, all right? Let's say I have this triangle, and it's 3, 4, and uh, 5, and I wanted to know this angle. Well, the, this that little Pythagorean theorem, that's not helping us out. Okay, we can't solve that. So what we would do, okay, we'd say, well, the tangent of that angle is uh, equal to 3 over 4, or what's that, 0. 0.75, right? So the t a tangent, the tangent of a particular angle is equal to 0. 0.75. What is the angle? Well, there's a function on our calculator, and you do need a calculator or a table of values. It's called arc uh, tangent, okay? It goes, it looks like that. But all, I, but this, what you do is just, this is just using your calculator. I can find the arc tangent of 0. 0.75. Basically, I'm, I'm gonna ask my calculator, what angle has a tangent of 0. 0.75, and it would spit out the number, okay, in, a, in, a, uh, in an angle, right? And I don't want to get into this because your calculator uh, has its angles are expressed in either degrees or something called radians, okay? But anyways, it will give you that angle. I don't actually have my calculator with me in front of me. Um, should have done it, but let's say it came out and popped out to be 37 degrees, whatever it is, okay? It will tell you that if, if your calculator is in degree mode, okay? And so with this is just only one example of what you can do um, uh, in terms of solving right triangle problems. We can get degrees, we can get all kinds of stuff. And I don't want to make this video too much more in depth, but just know when you got your calculator and you understand these basic ratios, uh, trigonometric ratios, functions, and also it's handy to know the Pythagorean theorem. You can solve any kind of problem, like that l little problem with the tree that we talked about, and much more, uh, you know, sophisticated type of problems. Okay, so this is basic trigonometry. It's no more than that. And really, you know, if you know this so katoa and you understand this basic uh, right triangle that we discussed, the opposite, the adjacent, the hypotenuse. And the sine, cosine, and tangent, nothing but the ratios of these various sides and how we can use our calculator to solve problems like this. And guess what? You understand basic trigonometry, okay? And hopefully you found that not too difficult. It's pretty easy. It's really not that bad. And where do you study this? Well, depending on where you're at in your math education, Typically, this is introduced to most students in geometry. Where you're like, what, geometry? That's different than trigonometry? Well, in geometry, we uh, generally uh, start teaching basic trigonometry, but you really get heavy, heavy duty into trigonometry um, in courses like pre-calculus, sometimes uh, algebra two and trigonometry, but typically, like a pre-calculus course, you really study trigonometry, uh, trigonometry in depth, okay? All right, so hopefully this video was interesting to you and you'll enjoyed it. And if that is the case, please consider smashing that like button. And uh, if you like my teaching style, I have hundreds and hundreds of videos on my uh, YouTube channel. been on YouTube for 10 plus years. Also, I'm posting stuff all the time. Uh, so hopefully you'll, you'll consider becoming a subscriber. Again, if you really like my teaching style and you want uh, my full, complete, most comprehensive um, math work, then you know where to go. Just follow the links in the description of this video. But with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.